Oh my god, I'm in. It exists. The world exists. Oh, everything is reset. Oh my good lord. All of my settings, all of my macros. Rip. Oh, this is a tragedy right here. Every setting I have is reset. Uh, okay. <laughs> This is gonna slow me down so much. <sighs> Got to put this on auto cast for now. Every freaking setting I have is reset. attack. Uh, redo all my macros. Five minutes or so to get all my settings back to the I may be having to reset all of my macros, but at least I'm in. That spell is not ready yet.
second. Do I not have the quest for this? Is that what's happening here? How did, how did that happen? I picked up all these quests earlier. Huh, okay, well, I guess I don't have the cool board quest. They're <laughs> going back to pick that up and finish my macros on the way. Uh, that's weird. about five minutes of my time redoing all these macros going back to grab these freaking somehow I don't have this quest here what do you need Lotar okay. what? my hearthstone is back up now so I may as well set it here Well met. May the eternal sun shine upon thee. Are any of my add-ons working? It's not like automatically selling my gray stuff either. Walk with the Earth Mother. Strength and honor. I got on, there's just some weird stuff happening. Like a bunch of my all of my settings and macros and everything like got reset to the DC. I guess I was hoping that wouldn't still be the case. a little closer since uh kind of scuffed up that one to thirteen time. Thought I was gonna be able to hit thirteen in like ten minutes after I logged in. It's gonna be more like fifteen or twenty. Go back and do these cool boys again since I apparently didn't have the quest. Do not have a target. I cannot attack that. I used to have a macro to like automatically get a target without having to tab target to it first. But I don't remember what that is. I'll have to look back on my beta VODs to see what that was. practice just like setting everything up from scratch in case the uh, launch is like that.
Oh, yeah. Clearly it was the tweet, uh, the Warcraft that did it. <laughs> it was like, oh wait, our servers have been down for 90 minutes? We had no idea. Hunter. I killed some of those hunters before I had the quests so that might be respawning. There we go. Is this on a delay? Uh, it shouldn't be. It should be on whatever the minimum Twitch delay settings is. Sub-sub. 
I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do this harpy quest yet on the way to 15 or not. I guess I'll pick it up here just in case. It's normally part of my early route. I'm just not sure if we'll actually need it for 15 or not. For now. May your blades Blade never go. second part of the quill bores, the supplies, uh, do the zebras, head down to Ratchet, do some of those quests. Maybe just like the first couple quests down there, not even most of them. Definitely not going to finish Chen's keg, for example, like the, the collect all the, the animal parts. Do probably Baron in the first part of the Freebooters. Keep an eye out for these raptors. Finishing this quest would be nice. I could turn this in pre-15 if I get enough raptor heads. New specimen must experiment. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of surprised they didn't... I, they pumped up the volume on, like, these scorpion and crab sounds, I feel like. I don't remember them being so intrusive. <laughs> there's, no, there's no way for other people to turn down the sounds of pets or for me to turn them down. Anyone who groups with me in an instance is going to get some sort of creature making awful sounds right in their face. Normally I'd switch over to a cat at level 12 full leveling, but considering we're only going to 15, I'm just like, ah, why even bother? I can get more uh, training points or whatever from the higher loyalty level of the scorpion. another quest where uh, it's pretty likely that once you actually get here there'll be a bunch of people doing this that you'll want to group up for with whoever's around because there's uh, definitely a very limited amount of these uh, geomancers.
so many of these hunters patrolling around. I hate these because the wolves give like no experience. But they actually do like as much damage as the, the hunter. Hunter thinks he's a melee. is too far away. That is still the first growl didn't go off for some reason on the scene. Try to manually cast it. Finish this quest, we're gonna dip down here, start killing these zebras as we run towards Ratchet. Uh, we're gonna turn in this quest over here. Uh, wait, do I not have this quest? Okay, I do have it, it's just not showing up on Questy for some reason. Okay. It's worth like 400 or 500 experience. I'm not gonna do the Power Stones follow up though. Yeah. 
recharging. Okay, how's that volume ratio? As much as we love hearing the click clack and the screeching of zebras. Alright, I mean, it's totally fine to include the demon seed or whatever in your route. It's just a matter of, you know, if you can fit it into your pathing. Uh, I think, in general, my philosophy is, uh, if you come to the or to the barons at, like, prior to level 12, you need a little bit more experience, so fitting in a quest like that's good. By the time I'm, I come here, I'm, like, you know, a little ways into 12, and I've got more quests to turn in, in the barons too. So I just don't need as many quests. So I, I cut some stuff out. Yeah, the quest works for you, or you like, you know, you, you need slightly more XP. It's totally fine to do that quest. Now, Questy says I don't have one to turn in over here, but I'm pretty sure I do. So, yep, there we go. There's usually there's some mobs over here. I can send my pet to grab here. The view distance is really low. And I would fight those mobs while turning this in. On her. So I don't actually want this quest. Found all the legless zebras. <laughs> yeah, plenty of them. Expected outcome. Oh yeah. Oh, what up, Zurad? Dropping the Twitch Prime. Appreciate that, man. For the support. I'm feeling good now. I don't have to hit the refresh button every, you know, 30 seconds to try to get back into the world server. Back here grinding, getting move drops, getting Twitch Prime. Life is good. I was intending on finishing this quest on the way to Ratchet with the drop rate we have so far. Let's see if that actually remains the case. Normally I'm not too worried about finishing this raptor quest. I don't even like turn it in until like 17 or 18, but since we're 15 cap, I'm going to be trying to prioritize finishing it a little earlier than usual. Oh, we got the OG Frost Wolf players in here. Nice. Frostwell server is my home for pretty much 
yeah, actually all of vanilla. Um, I made some alt accounts that took to 60 on, like, you know, a couple other servers. They had, like, random friends on them, but I never really did anything serious on any server other than Frostwolf in the old days. Up until, uh, partway into TBC. I switched from Hunter to Warrior as a main and went to a different server. Gotta resist my urge to just grind everything as I go along. Since we're only going to 15, I really, like, don't have to do much grinding at all. I have more than enough quests to easily do it. <laughs> Killing too many things. Just that I have it. Yeah. It's like, it's in my way. I'll kill it. It's like, no, I don't actually need to kill that level 16 hyena. <laughs> There are more zebras down here. I guess they don't start till back over here again. Okay, here we go. Hopefully there's enough zebras to get rid of these last couple of hooves. Otherwise I'll have to do a slight detour. Uh, and once I turn in the ratchet quest, I'll have to like run over here, kill a few more zebras, and go back to ratchet and fly to crossroads. Click clack. That spell is not ready yet. Oh, that's right, I didn't rebound. <laughs> my my pet follow command isn't bound to anything. Okay. It's like, why is this pet not coming back to me? That's still not the right button? Oh god. No, come back. Where the heck is my pet action bar? We did it. Yeah, uh, a lot of times, a lot of times I don't loot animals that don't have a quest item I need because they have so much random junk that it like fills up your inventory real fast. Uh, and then there's not like a hard and fast rule, but if I can loot something without going too far out of my way, I normally will. But if it's like too far to the side, oftentimes I won't loot it. And if it's just like an animal like this that has a bunch of random garbage parts that aren't worth very much, I usually don't loot those. So I don't have a quest or anything from these things. Once I got the Chen's Keg quest, I would start looting them again. Uh, that seemed about right. Probably killed like 15 of them or so. Got four hooves. Seem, seems like it's about, like, 25 or 33 percent. Oh, 
But, like, stuff like this, like, I would never double back for loot and go, like, the opposite direction I want to go just to loot something and come back. I would just, whatever mob that was, I would not loot it. Hey there, just passing through? I guess I'll change my route a little bit. Normally I'd do this quest a little later, but I'm probably not going to do the follow-up. Uh, like the second quest to get the stolen booty. What up? Be good! Hey, how you doing? Wanted poster. Normally I run by this way. Grab this quest. Ah, we're not going to do this on the 1 to 15, but I would grab that one. Uh, definitely not going to finish that quest. Freaking add-ons aren't working here. <laughs> Normally I'd buy a bunch of that food, because I'd have a cat at this point. But... line for quests. Gotta know when to cut them loose. Just gotta give up at some point. I learned that lesson on the uh, the raptor egg quest. <laughs> I would have skipped that so much longer, or so so much faster if I hadn't just gotten two of those right away, trolled myself into thinking they were a one minute respawn. But now we know. Probably pretty good odds that uh, I don't do most of those uh, Troll Island quests comes launch. I did not pass that yet. Look at how crowded that place is. There, there might be an argument for actually just running to the island and finishing that skull quest. And then, like, not actually doing the rest of the quests later on that route, on going back to the Troll Island. Yeah, I got the pirate quest and the one for uh, Baron Longshore. Then I, I think I'm probably gonna skip the uh, the follow up to that, which is to do the uh, the stolen booty, just because you have to run so far south and then double back. Like normally I'd do that quest, but since we're only going to 15, I think it's less efficient than some of the other quests around. I don't know what, which camp the Baron is at, so... I don't want to kill too many of these things right now, because I might have to go all the way to the south camps to get to him. Then I would end up killing, like, way too many of these things. Not that they're bad experience, per se, but... Getting to 15 would be faster if I do a little bit more questing and less grinding than usual.
North Watch. Uh, North Watch is much like the Demon Seed for me, whereas if I find myself under-leveled, uh, like missing experience because, you know, maybe I got Virag right away or I got the Emerald Drop right away and I didn't grind as much as usual, or if I had to skip a quest because it was overcrowded, in those situations, I might do uh, Demon Seed and Guns of North Watch, but they, like, they don't quite make the cut onto my, like, 12 to 20 route. Unless I need extra experience. Now, why did these things not get looted? It's partially my playstyle, too, just because I just kill so much random stuff as I run around. And I, you know, I don't really come here until partway into 12 that I just have, I, there's so many quests and so much XP I get from killing stuff that I, I don't need to do as many quests as like other classes or other people that play differently. So the quests themselves are fine if you can do them. This thing is still aggroed onto me? I didn't even hit you. Get a pet. Oh, daddy, I'm 14. Let's see. Okay, we still need a couple cannoneers. Let's see. Are there none over there? Oh, there's one. Okay, so we gotta get one from this camp. All right, 14, home stretch. Yeah, and oh yeah, like Demon Seed and Guns of North Watch are fine if you want to fit them into your route. Oh, wonderful. It's definitely, definitely not one route that's like 100% optimal. It's mostly just being versatile with your route, being able to like switch quests in and out depending on how much XP you need, how many quests you have to skip in other parts, etc. So... They're, those quests by default aren't in my route, but mostly because of playstyle and, you know, if I end up needing more experience, I'll put them in. I have hype news after your stream's done. Cool. I sure could use your help, kid. What's up? Right back.
Yeah, she hit it like a couple minutes before me, but I got like five quests to turn in, so we're still cruising. Very cool. Shit, we're alone. <laughs> Where are all my hunter bros at? This is none level 12 or higher. Oh, there's this guy, I'm blind. Okay. Do I have enough money to actually get the level 14 bow? Is the real question. I'm not sure that I do. Let's see what we're at after turning in all this stuff. Maybe I could sell enough junk to get there. Glory to the Horde. Okay. Actually, yeah, I think we can probably make it. If I sell this bow off, I could sell this if I... Yeah, I could sell this if I need be. Okay. No problem. Nope. Just hit 14 a few minutes ago. But turned into much quests. Speak, friend. Wait, where the hell is my level 14 green bow? Why does this dude not have it? Okay. <laughs> go for it. Screw this game. I hate this game. I'm gonna go play TFT. Why does this guy not have the freaking green bow? For the horde. I'm tilted again. Why? <laughs> the vendor with the 14 green bow that always has like two in stock just doesn't have them for some reason. I'm the only- I'm the only freaking 14 on this server. <laughs> I don't understand why they're not in stock. I was hoping for that nice bow upgrade for this last part, but... Yeah, I mean, I, at this point, I don't know how it works. I thought there was no chance that it wouldn't be up. So angry, I'm gonna take it out on these huntress that I don't really need to be killing. Probably should have bought some more arrows there. I, I think we'll be fine with this many just to get to 15 back. Not even sure we'll need to do the harpy quest. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to be able to finish the Bracer quest, just because the drop rate's not that high. I'd have to kill, like, 40 centaurs to actually finish the Bracer quest. I think we're going to do Barak's Head, the Prowlers for sure. We're going to do the Fungal Spores. We're going to do the, uh, you know, Explore the Forgotten Pool and whatever. We might need, like, one or two more quests after that. can't resist my natural instinct to just murder everything within sight, even though I like, definitely don't need to be doing that right now. Just kill everything. Yep. Yeah. Always happens, yeah. He's a troll. I can't believe those green bows are down. Everything I know about vendor items is a lie now. So I don't know. If they just, like, randomly go up and down. I thought that they were always in stock on that guy, unless somebody bought them out. I don't know who would even have enough money to buy those at this point. So I guess they just aren't up. Yeah. There's a lot of raptors up by the, uh, the harpies as well. I think we got, like, seven heads already, so that shouldn't be too hard.
got the worst possible weapon progression here, where I wasn't able to get the level 11 bow before we went there, and I wasn't able to get the 14 bow here, but at this point, it doesn't really matter too much, because we're only going to 15. If I didn't have that bow all the way to 16, I'd be a little annoyed, but I guess it looks like that's just the way it works. I just might not get it at all on launch. I thought I could count on getting that one as long as I was, like, one of the first couple hunters to it. Five agility boots down here also are good to pick up around now, but or around level 15, but obviously pointless for this run. There's a scorpion all the way. It's gonna be the new wave. People will be like, oh my god, the scorpion pet? It's, it's that good? What's the secret? Like, nah, I just didn't feel like taming a different pet, and waiting for the loyalty ups. Actually give him a little bit more stamina here too now. Yeah, beefy pet. <laughs> yeah, if you're doing the booty quest, it always seems like Baron respawns on the booty camps after you kill him once, just to be a troll. have the new meta just make the most annoying pets you can 1 to 60. Just use a scorpion till like 16 then get a wind serpent. Maybe switch it with like an owl at some point so there's just always something click clacking or screeching. Can't have a nice silent cat. Stone isn't quite going to be up in time to go back to town uh, by the time I'm ready to get 15. It's going to be quicker than 20 minutes, so best way will probably be to just walk back, but to turn in Barak's head on the way back, so I guess I can hold that for now after I kill him. I guess I could death... Never mind, I could just death warp too. I hope I don't miscalculate. Why I'm killing these things natural. Just, yep, just killing everything in my way. Bear form's a pretty big joke, honestly, 10 to 20. It's like really, really weak on classic. Private server values are totally inaccurate. I mean, it's better than nothing. Like, you know, once you get to the teens and higher, you know, bear form's probably better than sitting there with the staff, but it's, it's pretty meh. guys separately here. Kind of curious if they fixed... There's like these stormers over here that are always stuck in the ground. And they blast you and you can't hit them back. I wonder if they fixed any of that stuff. Oh, we got the booty key. Let's try to... Tr 
trying to trick me into going up here and looting this to stall my uh, my one to fifteen. Get out of here, booty key. Normally, of course, I'd do this because it's uh, these chests tend to have random greens in them. Let's see for science if I get blasted by a stormer here. Oh, nothing stuck in the ground. Nice change. Do need one more raptor. Keep an eye out for that. I don't know the exact calculations because, you know, normally I don't really do this route. I'm just kind of winging a route to get to 1 to 15 instead of using, like, my normal one. Uh, where I usually kind of get 16 when I come back from town from Ratchet. But I think I should be just about ready to hit 15 off these turn-ins. I might be a little bit short, but then I can just run out and kill a few mobs to get it. Uh, I do need to find one more raptor, though. Which, the raptor over here is probably respawned. So sometime in the next five minutes, I think we might be ready. We had a pretty quick 13 to 15. Nice. No, if you've got three six slot bags by level six, it's probably the luckiest I've ever seen in my life on classic. Like, normally if you get one bag before level 10, you're lucky. <laughs> Three of them by six is actually insane. Just gonna, on the off, do this a safe way to make sure I don't get stuck. Sometimes you can get stuck there. This raptor over here should have respawned by now. Let's go check it out. Kill some mobs as we go back. I don't think these quests quite get me to 15, so I don't want to death warp yet. So I might actually have to kill another handful of mobs. Figured uh, I wouldn't need the Harpy Raiders. I picked up that quest earlier just in case, but it uh, doesn't look like we're going to need that to hit 15. Yeah. 
So yeah, we got into the Barrens and started questing at like 320 something. And even with having to redo all my macros and re-pick up that quest, we're gonna be done, you know, and like pretty much the whole Barrens section where we went 12 to 15 was like 70 minutes or something. I like see why I wasn't worried about catching people once I got to this point. So like if, if I wasn't like a full level plus behind, then for sure. Run people down during this stretch. Yeah, I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure this will ding me. I might have to go kill a couple mobs. What now? We'll see. What do you need? It's gonna be close. What can I do? Yeah, looks like that should do it. Uh, I... Oh, 675, you troll. Okay. <laughs> Put me one mob shy. After I kill this one mob. Make sure we get enough here. Yeah, Hunter 12 to 15 is insanely fast the way I do it, because I get all the a lot of quest and XP and stuff out of the way in the Durotar. There we go. Yell for the two other people in Barrens. Let them know they've been got. Is anyone 15 on yours? No. Alright, well, that was the first 15 in... in Alright, sounds like uh, the other server my girlfriend's on, nobody's 15 on the horde side there either. <laughs> oh man, now the power is mine, I can do anything. Like, make a new character. Or delete your account. <laughs> delete my account, another good, uh, another good advice. I suppose I should make a... I wanna, should we go over to the RP PvP server, see if that's the, uh, the happening spot? Like, how, uh, if YZ, if you're still in the chat, like, how far into 14 were you? Was it pretty close at the end? Or did we just zoom by? But yeah, you guys see now why I was like, oh, Joker, when you guys were saying at 12, like, Joker's, like, you know, four or five bars ahead of you, I'm like, yeah, no, no problem catching him, like, 100%, except for the fact that, you know, servers didn't come back up, <laughs> and, and EU did, like, eight bars away, okay, yeah, so... You, you pretty much need, like, close to a level at advantage, like, maybe three quarters of a level or so on a hunter by the time, like, they hit 12. Right on, right on. Yeah, definitely think that, like, either, either... Undead Mage, uh, Troll Shaman, or any Hunter is maybe a Warlock? I don't know about Warlock. Maybe if the person's really good. Probably those three or four classes are probably the only ones that are going to win a, a 1 to 15. Maybe Paladin. Paladin's also pretty strong 1 to 15, and they suck later. Yeah, I mean, once, once you get 10, it's such a big spike that... So I was saying, going one to twenty, like I don't, I don't think anyone can match a hunter, hunter one to twenty, like one to fifteen, it's pretty close. Uh, and then once mages get to like the AOE levels, they're gonna be behind hunters, but then they'll actually grind faster than hunters at that point and can catch up. Okay. 
do a little Twitter celebration or whatever. What were what were some of the play times? If anyone remembers seeing on a uh, the EU. Yeah, we got 420. This isn't definitely isn't amazing. Like I probably added about a good 15 minutes of unnecessary time doing that raptor thing and like having to redo my macros and double back for the quest or whatever. This could be a lot better, but uh, you know, considering everybody probably had similar problems of macros not saving and probably having some quests they got screwed on. Okay, his was five hours. Yeah, that's. I mean, there's no, there was no chance I was beating EU to fifty when our servers went down for ninety minutes. But yeah, I just will uh, compare the thirteens. Yeah, I mean, even our server. I think I think YZ is like way above anyone else. Like Thirteen to fifteen. He's like halfway through fourteen, and I think these people like just hit thirteen a little bit ago. No, normally I'd replace a Scorpid at 12 with a cat, and then even if I didn't do that and I kept the Scorpid to 15 or 16, I'd replace it with a Wind Serpent now. You can go with either a cat or a Wind Serpent. Like 16 to 25, either is fine. I think Wind Serpent's the best, uh, like 25 to 35, and then cats again I would switch back to. Okay, now I'll make a get a drink. I'll I'll make something uh <laughs> make something on the RP server. See how crowded those are here in a second. Yeah, I mean it might be screwed because all the starting areas are probably like omega fucked. Alliance Hunter, 4 hours 51. Okay, good. Let's see, we're like 23 minutes ahead of that, even though I wasn't super happy with my time. I think some other, like, really good speedrun, like Leshrac, might have uh, beat my time. I think he was on Oceanic. It seemed like he had a pretty good start with Night Elf. Because, uh, I think this this time should probably be, if I played it a little cleaner, it would probably be more like 4.15 instead of 4.28. Or if I had my UI set up ahead of time. Instead of just, like, making it as I went, doing all those key bindings and macros. But, you know, I just wanted to practice that just in case live didn't carry anything over. There we go. Jesus. The rock hit me for, like, half my HP. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've said before, like, jo Joanna's not competition to the speedrun. Like, Joanna's, he's he's very helpful to the community in his own way. Like, for, for beginning players and starters, then, like, having Joanna's guide to, like, you know, his playstyle, his guide is very good for new players. But, yeah, you know, it's, it's no, like, match for current age speedrunners. Like, his roots and stuff, I don't, I don't think he knows what to do in a crowded area. He only... He is only, like, used to questing as if he's, like, one of the only people on the server. So I don't think he takes into account, like, crowded areas in his roots, and there's not, like, really enough versatility. His kill speed is also kind of low. So it's it's definitely... He'll, his guides will always be very useful as, like, a, a starting guide for people that are getting into the game.
Yeah, and I mean, like, he's he's got his own focuses at this point, like, I just, also keep in mind that when Joanna was speedrunning back in the day, there, like, speedrunning almost wasn't a thing, there was probably, like, a dozen people that were, like, seriously racing on new servers, and now it's probably, like, thousands of people are trying to get server first and stuff, so, there's just way more competition, competition pushes people to get better times and such, whereas before he was pretty much uncontested. Nobody was, like, seriously speedrunning back then. Okay, let's see what this other server looks like. Just